Here, here's what I think the benefits that we have in hoarding. When you, when you look at college or career readiness, ultimately any high school is preparing a student for a post-secondary plan, and mm -hmm. we're doing our job if students have good information that's relevant, meaningful, that tells them what options are available, depending on what I'm interested in, whether it's college and careers, military, trade school, tech, what have you, coming mm -hmm. out just going to work. So what we want to do is educate on that transition, and we want to be supportive wherever those students decide to go, right? Mm -hmm. So some of the things we've noticed is we wanted to a increase our communication so one of the things we did earlier this year is have a college career fair where we had over I think it was 33 or 35 four-year schools two-year schools military trade schools come here and we wanted to bring that to town we wanted mm -hmm. to make it convenient for students and families to say what are my options how do I get there if I'm interested in this how does that impact me with the choices I need to make and the grades I need to get that kind of thing so we want to start to connect the dots a little bit for people uh, on that. As we go through the year and look at other changes we make, we know we want to start to... What I noticed, the culture of the students was a little bit apathetic, to be honest with you, in the student. And mm -hmm. there wasn't a whole lot of sense of urgency on me bringing my A-game. And so this is all how I communicate to parents, but I'm giving you the bigger picture yep. with what, how it translates in the conversation. So we want to create a little bit of a sense of urgency. So we want to start to increase that communication with parents and students. So when I know where I'm going, what does it take to get there? And so we want to bring that vision alive so that students see the connection between the school and the work and what the next steps are so it all makes sense with how it all helps me to get there. And so that's why when we have like a registration process, we're not only making students uh, aware of skill center, of running start. We have eight, 14 advanced placement offerings next, for next year. Yeah, now, will we run them? I don't know. Kids, here's what I know. As of today, 286 kids have requested AP. Wow. That's huge. Well, I don't know if it's kids. There have been 286 requests for AP. Some of those can be doing multiple classes. Mm -hmm. That's a huge, pretty big shift. That's Last year, we had 23 kids take the test. This year, we have over 100. That's, amazing. That's huge shifts yeah. already we're seeing. So when I'm talking to parents, one thing uh, I want to be clear is fish them out. So what are your interests of a high school? What are you looking to do? And then I want them to help understand how can this high school and this community help you get there. Mm -hmm. So for instance, uh, when we're talking about our AP offerings, when we're talking about grade point average or SAT or things, I want people to know that how can we help prepare you for whatever your next step is. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be in the business of telling people. Like We don't want to tell people, hey, look, you're all going to four-year school. That's, that's Our job isn't to tell you where to go. Our job is to help you figure out where you want to go and help you get there. Mm -hmm. So I think when we talk to parents, that's part of the communication. I think the big draw uh, that we have that other schools may not is not only can we can compete with programs and personalization, uh, but we have that small flavor. It is hard to beat. You can go get lost in a 2,500 right, student right. high school. Yeah, you'll still have programs and things. Right. We have a marching band. We have sports. We're in the South Puget Sound League. We're cutting our commute down big time next year. We have choir advanced placing. We have choir. We have journalism. So, and if we don't have it, and students want it, we're willing to build. So we threw out new options around robotics and science technology classes. We threw out options in our schedule around sports medicine. So we really want to, really want to be responsive to what our students want and need. And right. I think that's a big draw uh, because as a parent, the transition from middle school to high school can be scary. Mm -hmm. And you know, you got people you can talk to, people you can connect with. You can come have a conversation with Mr. Matz or Carlson or Hats and Beeler or Lee, and, and you don't get brushed off or no phone call return. They're right. calling you back within a day, and we're going to have, you know, we'll lay it out there. And hopefully, this is the best place. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, Ording's interest is to keep Ording strong. If Ording keeps farming out the students to other schools, mm -hmm. Ording High School won't exist. Exactly. That's so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we want to all be in on raising the game together so that we can have something that works for all of us. And I'm telling you what, our enrollment's going up. We're pulling kids back into the system that have previously been going out. So, wow. we're pretty happy about that.